Welcome back everybody, Gator the Legend here with you as always, and I, I, I just had to stop by and deliver a message to Keemstar. Okay buddy, so, so I really hope you're watching, and I really hope you're paying attention. Get, get a little pen out and a piece of paper and take some fucking notes, because I'm going to teach you a thing or two. So one of the first tweets I come across is this tweet that where, where you say, can you call someone out for being biased if you're being biased? And then you sum up, you say no. Uh, and I, I just want to respond to this because you, you sit here and I've watched you on multiple occasions yell out and say bad and call all the iDubs fans fucking sheep and say that they're just fucking defending them no matter what the fuck goes going on and that they're just fucking biased. Meanwhile, I looked hard through your tweet, tweets and replies to try to find even one case where you went up against a rice gum hater and defended iDubs during this whole entire situation. Couldn't find it once on your fucking Twitter. And you want to preach about people being biased. You, you just said, can you call someone out for being biased if you're biased? And then you said no. Then you said no. You've already lost all credibility. You're a fucking hypocrite. And your show drama alert, you should just hand it off to someone else. Because once you lose credibility, nothing you say can be taken seriously anymore. And then I find another tweet where you basically say, if Ricegum uh, uploads a 30 minute video and it has 50,000 dislikes in 15 minutes, then that's unfair. That's unfair. I get where you're going with that. It's unfair because I didn't watch the entire video. But let me tell you something. I did watch the entire video. And it's completely fair. It's completely fair if it had 100,000 dislikes within the first fucking minute. Because that's all it takes for you to realize how much dog shit that video is. And I will, I will reference you back to my last video. Go watch it. I make several points throughout the entire fucking video that Rice Gun made where there are multiple fucking times where if you checked out of that video and disliked it, you are completely and utterly justified. Now for another one of your tweets where you're defending rice gum. You say, if you work really hard and you make a lot of money, you have the God-given right to brag about it. Guess what, Keemstar? The Gator agrees. I completely agree with you. That's fine, but admit that you're doing it. Don't lie and try to act like you were doing it for some other reasons. He says that his reason for doing it wasn't because he worked really hard to earn it, but it was because he believes that a lot of his, a lot of the people watching his video have the same taste as him because they can all afford fucking $6,000 pair of shoes. He has over 8 million subs. You're not going to convince me that most of his fans can afford $6,000 fucking shoes. And if you can't afford six thousand dollar fucking shoes, by the way, you people out there saying they're just upset because they're poor, that doesn't make you poor. That just doesn't make you rich. I, I know fucking plenty of people that are more than well off that would never spend $6,000 on shoes. It's a waste of fucking money. But it's fine. You're right. If you make that money and you want to brag about it, that's your God-given right. You're correct. But guess what? You can't sit there and say you're not bragging about it. You can't say you're not flexing. And that's what he did. So again, your tweet, your point, irrelevant. Now this next one really has me fired up. You say, oh, I thought it was fire. Rice had so many good points that made iDubs look like a moron. And the first guy, uh, and I'm gonna read it off a piece of paper here, I wrote some notes down. Uh, his name is at Vertigo Gaming. Uh, he says, I respectfully disagree. I thought it was pretty weak, felt super dishonest, and indecisive. So, I mean, that sounds like a pretty nice comment. I mean, he literally starts it with, I respectfully disagree. He's not bashing your opinion. He's not saying you're wrong or anything like that. He just respectfully disagrees, which I, I would like to believe that we're a civilized enough people that we can disagree with one another respectively. So I think he did nothing wrong there personally. If I'm wrong, fucking tell me in the comments, folks. But here's what Keemstar comes back with. You would, LOL. Bah! Bah! What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Did, you, did something break? Is something snap up here? Or are you just fucking, in some way, fucking getting money off of this whole rice gum thing? You're somehow tied into what's going on with him. That's the only thing that makes sense. There has to be some kind of conspiracy theory here. Did you write his entire response video? You had something to do with this response video. I mean, uh, otherwise, what the fuck are you talking about, you fucking hypocritical prick? I mean, you're gonna say bad to that guy? And then, here's, here's, what, here's what Vertigo Gaming comes back with. Just my honest opinion. One minute, he would be saying sorry, and then he would start making up excuses. It was all over the place. Again, pretty respectful comment. And Keemstar doesn't say anything back to him, of course. He's not gonna admit fault. He's not gonna say you're wrong. You're just gonna sit there and say bah, and every time anyone disagrees with you or says anything that you don't agree with, you just call him a sheep. This is what you call fucking schoolyard bullying. This is like being back in junior high again, except you're fucking 40 years old. 
Another comment back to that tweet where he says, I thought it was fire. Rice had so many good points that he made. I-dubs looks like a moron. Was from a guy called uh, Ben Tam, at Ben Tam, uh, the E's with a three. Uh, he says, especially the filming without consent part, laugh my ass off. And you're thinking Keemstar is going to, you know, if, he, if he's going to respond, he's going to attack that, right? He's going to attack exactly what he said about the, the consent part. But just like Rice Gum, he's going to gloss over it. Here's Keem's response to it. Nah, the PewDiePie 10 minute mo joke made Ian look like a handicap. What the fuck does that even have to do with the consent part? The fucking 10 minute joke on fucking PewDiePie? That's a completely different part of the video. Like seriously, Keem, what the fuck? You know, I've never really cared that much for you as a person, but I've, I've, I've enjoyed Drama Alert. I watch almost every one of them. You, you give us up-to-date news. You, you give us your opinion, which, you know, I don't agree with all of them, but I respect them. But this here, I've lost all respect for you. I didn't really care for you, but I still respected you. That is over. My respect for you, completely fucking gone. This is weak, pathetic, just, just fucking bitchy, fucking moaning, fucking, again, fucking just grade school bullying. At this point, I just got tired of digging. I mean, what the fuck is going on, dude? You have your Dollar in the Woods song come out and it's doing really, really well. I mean, can't you just be proud of that and focus on that? Leave fucking Rice Gum and iDubs alone if you're gonna sit there and be fucking this fucking big of a piece of shit. Hey, guess what? I'm biased. I fucking love iDubs. Hey guys, I'm biased. And if you wanna be biased out there, folks, be fucking biased. That's fine, we're all biased. If I'm arguing with someone about why America is the greatest country on the earth, guess what? I'm fucking biased. That doesn't mean that I don't truly believe that America is the greatest country on the earth. I still believe that even if I'm biased. So I can argue it if I want to. You can't take that from me and you can't take it from any of the fans out there. If they wanna argue on behalf of iDubs, they're allowed. If they wanna argue on behalf of Ricegum, they're allowed. You know, I may think they're wrong, I may think they're stupid, but they're allowed to do that. And I'm not gonna sit there and call someone out for being biased while at the same time being biased myself. And that's exactly what you're doing, Keemstar. And it's fucking weak shit, dude. It's weak fucking shit. I'd suggest doing what everyone's always suggesting to, for Donald Trump to do, and that's to put the Twitter down, buddy. Just, just leave the Twitter alone for a while, because you're fucking up. Stick to the scripts that you read on the fucking screen about the drama alert, because you're great at that, and people love it. It's how you got all your subs. You definitely didn't get those subs by saying stupid shit on Twitter. I promise you this. I want to thank everybody for all the fucking tremendous support I've been getting lately. Crossed over 4,000 fucking subs yesterday. Can't fucking believe it. I'm on fucking cloud nine. I'm going to make a response to the uh, hit in 4K. It's going to be its own video, probably the next video I make. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, uh, just thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Like, I, I can't believe I'm over 4,000 subs. You asked me two years ago if I thought that would, was possible. I would have laughed in your face. So thank you so much. And as always, I've been the Gator, and you've been great. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? My meme, yeah. My meme, yeah.